Ria son of Vladimir Putin Harris Business Head Office PHO, Barack Hussein Obama. Putin redirects here. For other uses, see Putin, disambiguation. In this name that follows Eastern Slavic naming conventions, the patronymic is Vladimirovich and the family name is Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin November 17, 2021, cropped. JPG. Putin in 2021. President of Russia. Incumbent. Assumed office. May 7, 2012. Prime Minister. Dmitry Medvedev. Mikhail Misustin. Preceded by Dmitry Medvedev. In office. May 7, 2000, May 7, 2008. Acting, December 31, 1999, May 7, 2000. Prime Minister. Mikhail Kasyanov. Mikhail Fradkov. Viktor Zubkov. Preceded by Boris Yeltsin. Succeeded by Dmitry Medvedev. Prime Minister of Russia. In office. May 8, 2008, May 7, 2012. President Dmitry Medvedev. First Deputy. Sergey Ivanov. Viktor Zubkov. Igor Shuvalov. Preceded by Viktor Zubkov. Succeeded by Dmitry Medvedev. In office. August 9, 1999, May 7, 2000. President Boris Yeltsin. First Deputy. Nikolai Aksionko. Viktor Krishnko. Mikhail Kasyanov. Preceded by Sergei Stepashin. Succeeded by Mikhail Kasyanov. Secretary of the Security Council of Russia. In office. March 9, 1999. August 9, 1999. President Boris Yeltsin. Preceded by Nikolai Bordy Uzha. Succeeded by Sergei Ivanov. Director of the Federal Security Service. In office. July 25, 1998, March 29, 1999. President Boris Yeltsin. Preceded by Nikolai Kovalyov. Succeeded by Nikolai Petrashev. Additional positions. Personal details. Born Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. October 7, 1952, age 69. Leningrad, Russian SFSR, Soviet Union. Political Party Independent, 1991-1995, 2001-2008, since 2012. Other political. Affiliations All Russia People's Front, since 2011. United Russia 1 2008 to 2012. Unity, 1999 to 2001. Our Home, Russia. 1995 to 1999. CPSU, 1975 to 1991. Spouses Ludmila Shkrbnva. M, 1983. Division 2014. A. Children at least two, Maria and Katerina B. Parents Vladimir Spridonovich Putin. Maria Ivanovna Putina. Residences Novo Augury Ovo, Moscow. Alma Mater St. Petersburg State University. St. Petersburg Mining Institute. Awards Order of Honor. Signature. Website hang.putin.kremlin.ru Military Service Allegiance Soviet Union Russia Branch, Service KGB, FSB, Russian Armed Forces Years of Service 1975-1991 1998-1999 2000 Present Rank Colonel Supreme Commander in Chief Battles, Wars Second Chechen War Russo-Georgian War Russo-Ukrainian War Syrian Civil War September 22, 2021, Cropped, 2.jpg This article is part of A series about Vladimir Putin President of Russia Incumbent Political Career Public Image Putinism Hits Policies Domestic Policy 
Legislation and Programs Military Reform Constitutional Reform National Champions Priority Projects Stabilization Fund Foreign Policy Annexation of Crimea 2022 Russian Invasion of Ukraine Putin's Plan Elections Electoral History 2000 Campaign 2004 Campaign 2012 Campaign 2018 Campaign Putin Team Premiership First Cabinet Second Cabinet Presidency Inaugurations First Second Third Fourth International Trips Political Groups Opposition Speeches Munich 2007 Crimea 2014 Valdai 2014 Federal Assembly 2020 Donetsk and Luhansk 2022 Ukraine 2022 Moscow 2022 Summits Ljubljana Bratislava Helsinki Geneva Emblem of the President of Russia. SVG Media Gallery Vt. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, slash Putin slash, Russian Semicolon, Vljim Drvl Jim audio speaker I can listen, born October 7, 1952, is a Russian politician and former intelligence officer who is the president of Russia, a position he has filled since 2012, and previously from 2000 until 2008. 7C, he was also the prime minister from 1999 to 2000, and again from 2008 to 2012. Putin is the second longest currently serving European president after Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus. He worked as a KGB foreign intelligence officer for 16 years, rising to the rank of lieutenant colonel, before resigning in 1991 to begin a political career in St. Petersburg. He moved to Moscow in 1996 to join the administration of President Boris Yeltsin. He briefly served as Director of the Federal Security Service, FSB, and Secretary of the Security Council, before being appointed as Prime Minister in August 1999. After the resignation of Yeltsin, Putin became acting president, and less than four months later was elected outright to his first term as president. He was re-elected in 2004. As he was then constitutionally limited to two consecutive terms as president, Putin served as Prime Minister again from 2008 to 2012 under Dmitry Medvedev, and returned to the presidency in 2012 in an election marred by allegations of fraud and protests, he was re-elected again in 2018. In April 2021, following a referendum, he signed into law constitutional amendments including one that would allow him to run for re-election twice more potentially extending his presidency to 2036. 8. 9. During Putin's first tenure as president, the Russian economy grew for eight consecutive years, following a five-fold increase in the price of oil and gas. Putin led Russia during the Second Chechen War, causing tens of thousands of civilian deaths. As prime minister under Medvedev, he oversaw military reform and police reform as well as Russia's participation in the Russo-Georgian War. During his third term as president, Russia annexed Crimea and launched the war in Donbass, resulting in international sanctions and a financial crisis in Russia. 10. During his fourth term as president, his government responded to the COVID-19 pandemic, and he presided over a military buildup on the border of Ukraine. In February 2022, Putin ordered a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, leading to international condemnation and expanded sanctions, causing a severe financial crisis in Russia, increased global isolation and calls for the prosecution of Putin for war crimes. 11. Under Putin's leadership, Russia has experienced democratic backsliding and a shift to authoritarianism. Putin's rule has been characterized by endemic corruption, the jailing and repression of political opponents, the intimidation and suppression of independent media in Russia, and a lack of free and fair elections. 12-13-14, Putin's Russia has scored poorly on Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index, the Economist Intelligence Unit's Democracy Index, and Freedom House's Freedom in the World Index. Contents 1. Early Life 2. Education 
3 KGB career. 4 Political career. 4.1-1990-1996, St. Petersburg Administration. 4.2-1996-1999, Early Moscow career. 4.3-1999, First Premiership. 4.4-1999-2000, Acting Presidency. 4.5-2000-2004, First Presidential Term. 4.6-2004-2008, Second Presidential Term. 4.7-2008-2012, Second Premiership. 4.8-2012-2018, Third Presidential Term. 4.8.1 Russo-Ukrainian War. 4.8.2 Intervention in Syria. 4.8.3 Russia's interference in the 2016 U.S. election. 4.9-2018 Present, Fourth Presidential Term. 4.9.1 COVID-19 Pandemic. 4.9.2 Constitutional Referendum and Amendments. 4.9.3-2021-2022 Russo-Ukrainian Crisis and Invasion. 5 Domestic Policies. 5.1 Economic, Industrial, and Energy Policies. 5.2 Environmental Policy. 5.3 Religious Policy. 5.4 Military Development. 5.5 Human Rights Policy. 5.6 The Media. 5.7 Promoting Conservatism. 5.8 International Sporting Events. 6 Foreign Policy. 6.1 Asia. 6.2 Post Soviet States. 6.3 United States, Western Europe, and NATO. 6.4 United Kingdom. 6.4.1 Poisoning of Alexander Litvinenko. 6.5 Latin America. 6.6 Australia and the South Pacific. 6.7 Middle East and North Africa. 7 Public Image. 7.1 Polls and Rankings. 7.2 Assessments. 7.3 Cult of Personality. 7.4 Publication Recognition in the United States. 7.5 Putinisms. 8 Electoral History. 9 Personal Life. 9.1 Family. 9.2 Personal Wealth. 9.3 Residences. 9.3.1 Official Government Residences. 9.3.2 Personal Residences. 9.4 Pets. 9.5 Religion. 9.6 Sports. 10 Honors. 10.1 Civilian Awards Presented by Different Countries. 10.2 Honorary Doctorates. 10.3 Other Awards. 10.4 Recognition. 11 C also. 12 Notes. 13 References. 14 Further Reading. 14.1 Historiography. 15 External Links. Early Life. 5-Year-Old Vladimir Putin with his mother, Maria, in July 1958. Putin was born on October 7, 1952 in Leningrad, Russian SFSR, Soviet Union, now St. Petersburg, Russia, 1516, the youngest of three children of Vladimir Spridanovich Putin, 1911-1999, and Maria Ivanovna Putina, née Shalamova. 1911 to 1998. His grandfather, Spridon Putin, was a personal cook to Vladimir Lenin and Joseph Stalin. 1718. Putin's birth was preceded by the deaths of two brothers, Victor and Albert, born in the mid 1930s. Albert died in infancy, and Victor died of diphtheria during the siege of Leningrad by Nazi Germany's forces in World War II. 19. Putin's father. Vladimir Spridanovich Putin. Putin's mother, Maria Ivanovna Shelimova. Putin's mother was a factory worker and his father was a conscript in the Soviet Navy, serving in the submarine fleet in the early 1930s. Early in World War II, his father served in the destruction battalion of the NKVD. 
2021-22. Later, he was transferred to the regular army and was severely wounded in 1942. 23. Putin's maternal grandmother was killed by the German occupiers of Tver region in 1941, and his maternal uncles disappeared on the Eastern Front during World War II. 24. On September 1, 1960, Putin started at school number 193 at Baskov Lane, near his home. He was one of a few in the class of approximately 45 pupils who were not yet members of the Young Pioneer Organization. At age 12, he began to practice Sambo and Judo. 25. In his free time, he enjoyed reading the works of Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, and Lenin. 26. Putin studied German at St. Petersburg High School 281 and speaks German as a second language. 27. Education Putin studied law at the Leningrad State University named after Andrei Zhdanov, now St. Petersburg State University, in 1970 and graduated in 1975. 28. His thesis was on the most favored nation trading principle in international law. 29. While there, he was required to join the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, CPSU, and remained a member until it ceased to exist, when it was outlawed in August 1991. 30. Putin met Anatoly Sobkak, an assistant professor who taught business law, D, and who later became the co-author of the Russian Constitution and of corruption schemes in France. Putin would be influential in Sobkak's career in St. Petersburg, and Sobkak would be influential in Putin's career in Moscow. 31. KGB Career In 1975, Putin joined the KGB and trained at the 401st KGB school in Okta, Leningrad. 1532, after training, he worked in the second chief directorate, counterintelligence before he was transferred to the first chief directorate, where he monitored foreigners and consular officials in Leningrad. 1533-34, in September 1984, Putin was sent to Moscow for further training at the Yuri Andropov Red Banner Institute. 35-36-37, from 1985 to 1990, he served in Dresden, East Germany. 38, using a cover identity as a translator. 39. Putin in the KGB, circa 1980. Putin Stasi Aziz, identification card. He was assigned as a KGB agent in Dresden, as a mid level liaison to the Stasi, East German Intelligence Agency, in 1985. He held a job as a translator as a cover for his KGB work. Putin and his colleagues were reduced mainly to collecting press clippings, thus contributing to the mountains of useless information produced by the KGB, Russian-American Masha Jessen wrote in her 2012 biography of Putin. 39. His work was also downplayed by former Stasi spy chief Marcus Wolf and Putin's former KGB colleague Vladimir Yusaltsev. Journalist Catherine Belton wrote in 2020 that this downplaying was actually cover for Putin's involvement in KGB coordination and support for the terrorist Red Army faction, whose members frequently hid in East Germany with the support of the Stasi. Dresden was preferred as a marginal town with only a small presence of Western intelligence services. 40. According to an anonymous source, a former RAF member, at one of these meetings in Dresden the militants presented Putin with a list of weapons that were later delivered to the RAF in West Germany. Klaus Zuckold, who claimed to be recruited by Putin, said the latter also handled a neo-Nazi, Rainer Sontag, and attempted to recruit an author of a study on poisons. 40. Putin also reportedly met Germans to be recruited for wireless communications affairs together with an interpreter. He was involved in wireless communications technologies in Southeast Asia due to trips of German engineers, recruited by him, there and to the West. 34. According to Putin's official biography, during the fall of the Berlin Wall that began on November 9, 1989, he saved the files of the Soviet Cultural Center, House of Friendship, and of the KGB villa in Dresden for the official authorities of the would-be United Germany to prevent demonstrators, including KGB and Stasi agents, 
from obtaining and destroying them. He then supposedly burnt only the KGB files, in a few hours, but saved the archives of the Soviet Cultural Center for the German authorities. Nothing is told about the selection criteria during this burning, for example, concerning Stasi files or about files of other agencies of the German Democratic Republic or of the USSR. He explained that many documents were left to Germany only because the furnace burst but many documents of the KGB villa were sent to Moscow. 41. After the collapse of the communist East German government, Putin was to resign from active KGB service because of suspicions aroused regarding his loyalty during demonstrations in Dresden and earlier, though the KGB and the Soviet army still operated in eastern Germany. He returned to Leningrad in early 1990 as a member of the active reserves, where he worked for about three months with the International Affairs Section of Leningrad State University, reporting to Vice Rector Yuri Molchanov, while working on his doctoral dissertation. 34, there, he looked for new KGB recruits, watched the student body, and renewed his friendship with his former professor, Anatoly Sobkak soon to be the mayor of Leningrad. 42, Putin claims that he re-signed with the rank of lieutenant colonel on August 20, 1991, 42, on the second day of the 1991 Soviet coup d'état attempt against the Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev. 43, Putin said, as soon as the coup began, I immediately decided which side I was on although he also noted that the choice was hard because he had spent the best part of his life with the organs. 44. In 1999, Putin described communism as a blind alley, far away from the mainstream of civilization. 45. Political Career Main Articles, Political Career of Vladimir Putin and Russia under Vladimir Putin. 1990-1996 St. Petersburg Administration. Putin, led Milan Arasova and Ksenia Sobkak at the funeral of Putin's former mentor 46, Anatoly Sobkak, mayor of St. Petersburg, 1991-1996. In May 1990, Putin was appointed as an advisor on international affairs to the mayor of Leningrad Anatoly Sobkak. In a 2017 interview with Oliver Stone, Putin said that he resigned from the KGB in 1991, following the coup against Mikhail Gorbachev, as he did not agree with what had happened and did not want to be part of the intelligence in the new administration. 47. According to Putin's statements in 2018 and 2021, he may have worked as a private taxi driver to earn extra money, or considered such a job. 48-49. On June 28, 1991, he became head of the Committee for External Relations of the Mayor's Office, with responsibility for promoting international relations and foreign investments 50, and registering business ventures. Within a year, Putin was investigated by the City Legislative Council led by Marina Sally. It was concluded that he had understated prices and permitted the export of metals valued at $93 million in exchange for foreign food aid that never arrived. 5128, despite the investigator's recommendation that Putin be fired, Putin remained head of the Committee for External Relations until 1996. 5253, from 1994 to 1996. He held several other political and governmental positions in St. Petersburg. 54. In March 1994, Putin was appointed as first deputy chairman of the government of St. Petersburg. In May 1995, he organized the St. Petersburg branch of the pro-government Our Home, Russia political party, the Liberal Party of Power founded by Prime Minister Viktor Chernomyrdin. In 1995, he managed the legislative election campaign for that party, and from 1995 through June 1997, he was the leader of its St. Petersburg branch. 54. 1996-1999, Early Moscow Career In June 1996, Sobkak lost his bid for re-election in St. Petersburg, and Putin, who had led his election campaign, resigned from his positions in the city administration. 
he moved to Moscow and was appointed as deputy chief of the Presidential Property Management Department headed by Pavel Borodin. He occupied this position until March 1997. He was responsible for the foreign property of the state and organized the transfer of the former assets of the Soviet Union and the CPSU to the Russian Federation. 31. Putin as FSB Director, 1998 On March 26, 1997, President Boris Yeltsin appointed Putin Deputy Chief of the Presidential Staff, a post which he retained until May 1998 and chief of the main control directorate of the Presidential Property Management Department, until June 1998. His predecessor in this position was Alexei Kudrin and his successor was Nikolai Petrushev, both future prominent politicians and Putin's associates. 31. On June 27, 1997, at the St. Petersburg Mining Institute, guided by Rector Vladimir Litvinko, Putin defended his Candidate of Science dissertation in economics, titled The Strategic Planning of Regional Resources under the Formation of Market Relations. 55. This exemplified the custom in Russia whereby a young rising official would write a scholarly work in mid-career. 56. Putin's thesis was plagiarized. 57-58. Fellows at the Brookings Institution found that 15 pages were copied from an American textbook. 59. On May 25, 1998, Putin was appointed first deputy chief of the presidential staff for the regions, in succession to Viktor Iamitina. On 15 July, he was appointed head of the Commission for the Preparation of Agreements on the Delimitation of the Power of the Regions and head of the Federal Center attached to the President replacing Sergei Shakray. After Putin's appointment, the commission completed no such agreements, although during Shakray's term as the head of the commission 46 such agreements had been signed. 60. Later, after becoming president, Putin cancelled all 46 agreements. 31. On July 25, 1998, Yeltsin appointed Putin director of the Federal Security Service, FSB the primary intelligence and security organization of the Russian Federation and the successor to the KGB. 61. 1999, First Premiership Main Article, Vladimir Putin's First Cabinet Putin with President Boris Yeltsin on December 31, 1999, when Yeltsin announced his resignation. On August 9, 1999, Putin was appointed one of three first deputy prime ministers, and later on that day, was appointed acting prime minister of the government of the Russian Federation by President Yeltsin. 62. Yeltsin also announced that he wanted to see Putin as his successor. Later on that same day, Putin agreed to run for the presidency. 63. On 16th of August, the State Duma approved his appointment as Prime Minister with 233 votes in favor, versus 84 against, 17 abstained, 64, while a simple majority of 226 was required, making him Russia's fifth Prime Minister in fewer than 18 months. On his appointment, few expected Putin, virtually unknown to the general public, to last any longer than his predecessors. He was initially regarded as a Yeltsin loyalist, like other prime ministers of Boris Yeltsin, Putin did not choose ministers himself, his cabinet was determined by the presidential administration. 65. Yeltsin's main opponents and would-be successors were already campaigning to replace the ailing president, and they fought hard to prevent Putin's emergence as a potential successor. Following the Russian apartment bombings and the invasion of Dagestan by Mujahideen, including the former KGB agents, based in the Chechen Republic of Ichkiria, Putin's law and order image and unrelenting approach to the Second Chechen War soon combined to raise his popularity and allowed him to overtake his rivals. While not formally associated with any party, Putin pledged his support to the newly formed Unity Party, 66 which won the second-largest percentage of the popular vote, 23.3%, in the December 1999 Duma elections, and in turn supported Putin. 1999-2000, Acting Presidency 
Vladimir Putin as acting president on December 31, 1999. On December 31, 1999, Yeltsin unexpectedly resigned and, according to the Constitution of Russia, Putin became acting president of the Russian Federation. On assuming this role, Putin went on a previously scheduled visit to Russian troops in Chechnya. 67. The first presidential decree that Putin signed on December 31, 1999 was titled On Guarantees for the Former President of the Russian Federation and the Members of His Family. 68-69, this ensured that corruption charges against the outgoing president and his relatives would not be pursued. 70, this was most notably targeted at the Mabatex bribery case in which Yeltsin's family members were involved. On August 30, 2000, a criminal investigation, number 18238278-95, in which Putin himself, 7172, as a member of the St. Petersburg city government, was one of the suspects, was dropped. On December 30, 2000, yet another case against the prosecutor general was dropped for lack of evidence despite thousands of documents having been forwarded by Swiss prosecutors. 73. On February 12, 2001, Putin signed a similar federal law which replaced the decree of 1999. A case regarding Putin's alleged corruption in metal exports from 1992 was brought back by Marina Sally but she was silenced and forced to leave St. Petersburg. 74. While his opponents had been preparing for an election in June 2000, Yeltsin's resignation resulted in the presidential elections being held on March 26, 2000, Putin won in the first round with 53% of the vote. 75-76 2000-2004, first presidential term Putin taking the presidential oath beside Boris Yeltsin, May 2000 the inauguration of President Putin occurred on May 7, 2000. He appointed the Minister of Finance, Mikhail Kasyanov, as Prime Minister. 77. Putin with Tom Brokaw before an interview on June 2, 2000. The first major challenge to Putin's popularity came in August 2000, when he was criticized for the alleged mishandling of the Kursk submarine disaster. 78. That criticism was largely because it took several days for Putin to return from vacation, and several more before he visited the scene. 78. Between 2000 and 2004, Putin set about the reconstruction of the impoverished condition of the country, apparently winning a power struggle with the Russian oligarchs, reaching a grand bargain with them. This bargain allowed the oligarchs to maintain most of their powers, in exchange for their explicit support for, and alignment with, Putin's government. 7980. The Moscow theater hostage crisis occurred in October 2002. Many in the Russian press and in the international media warned that the deaths of 130 hostages in the Special Forces Rescue Operation during the crisis would severely damage President Putin's popularity. However, shortly after the siege had ended, the Russian president enjoyed record public approval ratings, 83% of Russians declared themselves satisfied with Putin and his handling of the siege. 81. In 2003, a referendum was held in Chechnya, adopting a new constitution which declares that the Republic of Chechnya is a part of Russia, on the other hand, the region did acquire autonomy. 82. Chechnya has been gradually stabilized with the establishment of the parliamentary elections and a regional government. 83-84, throughout the Second Chechen War, Russia severely disabled the Chechen rebel movement, however, sporadic attacks by rebels continued to occur throughout the Northern Caucasus. 85. 2004-2008, Second Presidential Term Putin with Junokiro Koizumi, Jacques Chirac Gerard Schroeder, George W. Bush and other state leaders in Moscow during the Victory Day Parade, May 9, 2005. 86. On March 14, 2004, Putin was elected to the presidency for a second term, receiving 71% of the vote. 87. 
The Bisland school hostage crisis took place on 1 September 3, 2004. More than 330 people died, including 186 children. 88. The near 10 year period prior to the rise of Putin after the dissolution of Soviet rule was a time of upheaval in Russia. 89. In a 2005 Gremlin speech, Putin characterized the collapse of the Soviet Union as the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century. 90. Putin elaborated, moreover, the epidemic of disintegration infected Russia itself. 91. The country's cradle to grave social safety net was gone and life expectancy declined in the period preceding Putin's rule. 92. In 2005, the national priority projects were launched to improve Russia's health care, education, housing, and agriculture. 93 94. The continued criminal prosecution of the wealthiest man in Russia at the time, President of Yukos Oil and Gas Company Mikhail Khodorkovsky, for fraud and tax evasion was seen by the international press as a retaliation for Khodorkovsky's donations to both liberal and communist opponents of the Kremlin. 95. Khodorkovsky was arrested, Yukos was bankrupted, and the company's assets were auctioned at below market value, with the largest share acquired by the state company Rosneft. 96. The fate of Yukos was seen as a sign of a broader shift of Russia towards a system of state capitalism. 97-98, this was underscored in July 2014, when shareholders of Yukos were awarded $50 billion in compensation by the Permanent Arbitration Court in The Hague. 99. On October 7, 2006, Anna Politkovskaya, a journalist who exposed corruption in the Russian army and its conduct in Chechnya, was shot in the lobby of her apartment building, on Putin's birthday. The death of Politkovskaya triggered international criticism, with accusations that Putin had failed to protect the country's new independent media. 100-101, Putin himself said that her death caused the government more problems than her writings. 102. Putin, Bill Clinton, George H. W. Bush and Ludmila Putina at the state funeral of Boris Yeltsin in Moscow, April 2007. In 2007, dissenters' marches were organized by the opposition group The Other Russia, 103, led by former chess champion Garry Kasparov and national Bolshevist leader Edward Limonov. Following prior warnings, demonstrations in several Russian cities were met by police action, which included interfering with the travel of the protesters and the arrests of as many as 150 people who attempted to break through police lines. 104. On September 12, 2007, Putin dissolved the government upon the request of Prime Minister Mikhail Fradkov. Fradkov commented that it was to give the president a free hand in the run-up to the parliamentary election. Viktor Zubkov was appointed the new prime minister. 105. In December 2007, United Russia won 64.24% of the popular vote in their run for State Duma according to election preliminary results. 106. United Russia's victory in the December 2007 elections was seen by many as an indication of strong popular support of the then Russian leadership and its policies. 107-108 2008-2012, Second Premiership Main Article, Vladimir Putin's Second Cabinet Putin was barred from a third consecutive term by the Constitution. First Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev was elected his successor. In a power-switching operation on May 8, 2008, only a day after handing the presidency to Medvedev, Putin was appointed Prime Minister of Russia, maintaining his political dominance. 109. Putin with Dmitry Medvedev, March 2008 Putin has said that overcoming the consequences of the world economic crisis was one of the two main achievements of his second premiership. 94. The other was stabilizing the size of Russia's population between 2008 and 2011 following a long period of demographic collapse that began in the 1990s. 94. At the United Russia Congress in Moscow on September 24, 2011, 
Medvedev officially proposed that Putin stand for the presidency in 2012, an offer Putin accepted. Given United Russia's near total dominance of Russian politics, many observers believed that Putin was assured of a third term. The move was expected to see Medvedev stand on the United Russia ticket in the parliamentary elections in December, with a goal of becoming prime minister at the end of his presidential term. 110. After the parliamentary elections on December 4, 2011, tens of thousands of Russians engaged in protests against alleged electoral fraud, the largest protests in Putin's time. Protesters criticized Putin and United Russia and demanded annulment of the election results. 111, those protests sparked the fear of a color revolution in society. 112, Putin allegedly organized a number of paramilitary groups loyal to himself and to the United Russia Party in the period between 2005 and 2012. 113. 2012-2018 third presidential term. On September 24, 2011, while speaking at the United Russia Party Congress, Medvedev announced that he would recommend the party nominate Putin as its presidential candidate. He also revealed that the two men had long ago cut a deal to allow Putin to run for president in 2012. 114, this switch was termed by many in the media as Rakirovka, the Russian term for the chess move castling. 115. On March 4, 2012, Putin won the 2012 Russian presidential election in the first round, with 63.6% of the vote, despite widespread accusations of vote rigging. 116 117 118. Opposition groups accused Putin and the United Russia Party of fraud. 119 120. While efforts to make the elections transparent were publicized, including the usage of webcams and polling stations, the vote was criticized by the Russian opposition and by international observers from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe for procedural irregularities. 121. Anti Putin protests took place during and directly after the presidential campaign. The most notorious protest was the Pussy Riot performance on 21 February, and subsequent trial. 122, an estimated 8,000 to 20,000 protesters gathered in Moscow on 6 May, 123-124, when 80 people were injured in confrontations with police, 125, and 450 were arrested with another 120 arrests taking place the following day. 126, a counter-protest of Putin supporters occurred which culminated in a gathering of an estimated 130,000 supporters at the Luzhniki Stadium, Russia's largest stadium. 127, some of the attendees stated that they had been paid to come, were forced to come by their employers or were misled into believing that they were going to attend a folk festival instead. 128 129 130, the rally is considered to be the largest in support of Putin to date. 131. Putin at a bilateral meeting with U.S. President Barack Obama during the G8 summit in Ireland, June 17, 2013. Putin's presidency was inaugurated in the Kremlin on May 7, 2012. 132. On his first day as president, Putin issued 14 presidential decrees, which are sometimes called the May decrees by the media, including a lengthy one stating wide-ranging goals for the Russian economy. Other decrees concerned education, housing, skilled labor training, relations with the European Union, the defense industry interethnic relations, and other policy areas dealt with in Putin's program articles issued during the presidential campaign. 133. In 2012 and 2013, Putin and the United Russia Party backed stricter legislation against the LGBT community, in St. Petersburg, Arkhangelsk, and Novosibirsk, a law called the Russian Gay Propaganda Law, that is against homosexual propaganda, which prohibits such symbols as the rainbow flag, 134-135, as well as published works containing homosexual content, 
was adopted by the State Duma in June 2013. 136 137, responding to international concerns about Russia's legislation, Putin asked critics to note that the law was a ban on the propaganda of pedophilia and homosexuality and he stated that homosexual visitors to the 2014 Winter Olympics should leave the children in peace but denied there was any professional, career or social discrimination against homosexuals in Russia. 138 in June 2013, Putin attended a televised rally of the All-Russia People's Front where he was elected head of the movement, 139, which was set up in 2011. 140, according to journalist Steve Rosenberg, the movement is intended to reconnect the Kremlin to the Russian people and one day, if necessary, replace the increasingly unpopular United Russia Party that currently backs Putin. 141. Russo-Ukrainian War Main Articles, Russia-Ukraine Relations, Russo-Ukrainian War, and War in Donbass Putin in talks with Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President François Hollande, October 17, 2014 In 2014, Russia made several military incursions into Ukrainian territory. After the Euromaidan protests and the fall of Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych, Russian soldiers without insignias took control of strategic positions and infrastructure within the Ukrainian territory of Crimea. Russia then annexed Crimea and Shevastopol after a referendum in which, according to official results, Crimeans voted to join the Russian Federation. 142 143 144 Subsequently, Demonstrations against Ukrainian RADA legislative actions by pro-Russian groups in the Donbass area of Ukraine escalated into an armed conflict between the Ukrainian government and the Russia-backed separatist forces of the self-declared Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics. In August 2014, 145, Russian military vehicles crossed the border in several locations of Donetsk Oblast. 146 147 148 The incursion by the Russian military was seen by Ukrainian authorities as responsible for the defeat of Ukrainian forces in early September. 149 150 In November 2014, the Ukrainian military reported intensive movement of troops and equipment from Russia into the separatist controlled parts of eastern Ukraine. 151, the Associated Press reported 80 unmarked military vehicles on the move in rebel-controlled areas. 152, an OSS special monitoring mission observed convoys of heavy weapons and tanks in DPR-controlled territory without insignia. 153, OSS monitors further stated that they observed vehicles transporting ammunition and soldiers' dead bodies crossing the Russian-Ukrainian border under the guise of humanitarian aid convoys. 154. As of early August 2015, the OSS observed over 21 such vehicles marked with the Russian military code for soldiers killed in action. 155. According to the Moscow Times, Russia has tried to intimidate and silence human rights workers discussing Russian soldiers' deaths in the conflict. 156. The OSS repeatedly reported that its observers were denied access to the areas controlled by combined Russian separatist forces. 157. In October 2015, the Washington Post reported that Russia had redeployed some of its elite units from Ukraine to Syria in recent weeks to support Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. 158. In December 2015, Putin admitted that Russian military intelligence officers were operating in Ukraine. 159. According to academic Andrei Sigankov, Many members of the international community assume that Putin's annexation of Crimea had initiated a completely new kind of Russian foreign policy. 160-161, they took the annexation of Crimea to mean that his foreign policy had shifted from state-driven foreign policy to taking an offensive stance to recreate the Soviet Union. 
He also says that this policy shift can be understood as Putin trying to defend nations in Russia's sphere of influence from encroaching Western power. While the act to annex the Crimea was bold and drastic, his new foreign policy may have more similarities to his older policies. 162. Intervention in Syria Main article, Russian Military Intervention in the Syrian Civil War See also, Russian Involvement in the Syrian Civil War Putin meets with U.S. President Barack Obama in New York City to discuss Syria and ISIL, September 29, 2015 On September 30, 2015 President Putin authorized Russian military intervention in the Syrian civil war, following a formal request by the Syrian government for military help against rebel and jihadist groups. 163. The Russian military activities consisted of air strikes, cruise missile strikes and the use of front-line advisors and Russian special forces against militant groups opposed to the Syrian government, including the Syrian opposition as well as Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIL, Al-Nusra Front, Al-Qaeda in the Levant, Terror Al-Sham, Ur Al-Sham, and the Army of Conquest. 164-165, after Putin's announcement on March 14, 2016 that the mission he had set for the Russian military in Syria had been largely accomplished and ordered the withdrawal of the main part of the Russian forces from Syria. 166. Russian forces deployed in Syria continued to actively operate in support of the Syrian government. 167. Russia's Interference in the 2016 U.S. Election See also, Russian Interference in the 2016 United States Elections and Russia-United States Relations. In January 2017, a U.S. intelligence community assessment expressed high confidence that Putin personally ordered an influence campaign, initially to denigrate Hillary Clinton and to harm her electoral chances and potential presidency, then later developing a clear preference for Donald Trump. 168, Trump consistently denied any Russian interference in the U.S. election, 169 170 171 as did Putin in December 2016, 172, March 2017, 173, June 2017, 174, 175, 176, and July 2017. 177, Putin later stated that interference was theoretically possible and could have been perpetrated by patriotically minded Russian hackers. 178, and on another occasion claim not even Russians, but Ukrainians, Tatars or Jews, but with Russian citizenship might have been responsible. 179, in July 2018, the New York Times reported that the CIA had long nurtured a Russian source who eventually rose to a position close to Putin, allowing the source to pass key information in 2016 about Putin's direct involvement. 180, Putin continued similar attempts in the 2020 U.S. presidential election. 181. 2018 present, fourth presidential term. See also, Vladimir Putin 2018 presidential campaign. Putin and the newly appointed Prime Minister Mikhail Misustin meeting with members of Misustin's cabinet, January 21, 2020. Putin won the 2018 Russian presidential election with more than 76% of the vote. 182, his fourth term began on May 7, 2018, 183, and will last until 2024. 184, on the same day, Putin invited Dmitry Medvedev to form a new government. 185, on May 15, 2018. Putin took part in the opening of the movement along the highway section of the Crimean Bridge. 186, on May 18, 2018, Putin signed decrees on the composition of the new government. 187, on May 25, 2018, Putin announced that he would not run for president in 2024, justifying this in compliance with the Russian constitution. 188. 
On June 14, 2018, Putin opened the 21st FIFA World Cup, which took place in Russia for the first time. In September 2019, Putin's administration interfered with the results of Russia's nationwide regional elections and manipulated it by eliminating all candidates in the opposition. The event that was aimed at contributing to the ruling party, United Russia's victory, also contributed to inciting mass protests for democracy, leading to large-scale arrests and cases of police brutality. 189. On January 15, 2020, Medvedev and his entire government resigned after Putin's 2020 presidential address to the Federal Assembly. Putin suggested major constitutional amendments that could extend his political power after presidency. 190-191, at the same time, on behalf of Putin, he continued to exercise his powers until the formation of a new government. 192. Putin suggested that Medvedev take the newly created post of deputy chairman of the Security Council. 193, on the same day, Putin nominated Mikhail Misustin, head of the country's federal tax service for the post of prime minister. The next day, he was confirmed by the State Duma to the post, 194-195, and appointed prime minister by Putin's decree. 196. This was the first time ever that a prime minister was confirmed without any votes against. On January 21, 2020, Ms. Ustin presented to Putin a draft structure of his cabinet. On the same day, the president signed a decree on the structure of the cabinet and appointed the proposed ministers. 197 198 199. COVID 19 Pandemic. Main article. COVID-19 Pandemic in Russia Putin, dressed in the yellow hazmat suit, visits coronavirus patients at a Moscow hospital, March 24, 2020. On March 15, 2020, Putin instructed to form a working group of the State Council to counteract the spread of coronavirus. Putin appointed Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin as the head of the group. 200. On March 22, 2020, after a phone call with Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte, Putin arranged the Russian army to send military medics, special disinfection vehicles and other medical equipment to Italy, which was the European country hardest hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. 201. On March 24, 2020, Putin visited a hospital in Moscow's Komunarka, where patients with coronavirus are kept, where he spoke with them and with doctors. 202, Putin began working remotely from his office at Novo Auguri Ovo. According to Dmitry Peskov, Putin passes daily tests for coronavirus, and his health is not in danger. 203-204. On 25th of March, President Putin announced in a televised address to the nation that the 22nd of April constitutional referendum would be postponed due to the coronavirus. 205. He added that the next week would be a nationwide paid holiday and urged Russians to stay at home. 206-207, Putin also announced a list of measures of social protection, support for small and medium-sized enterprises, and changes in fiscal policy. 208, Putin announced the following measures for micro-enterprises, small and medium-sized businesses, deferring tax payments, except Russia's value-added tax for the next six months, cutting the size of Social Security contributions in half, deferring Social Security contributions, deferring loan repayments for the next six months, a six-month moratorium on fines, debt collection, and creditors' applications for bankruptcy of debtor enterprises. 209-210 On April 2, 2020 Putin again issued an address in which he announced prolongation of the non-working time until 30 April. 211, Putin likened Russia's fight against COVID-19 to Russia's battles with invading Pekineg and Cuman steppe nomads in the 10th and 11th centuries. 212, in a 24 to 27 of April Levada poll, 48% of Russian respondents said that they disapproved of Putin's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. 213, 
and his strict isolation and lack of leadership during the crisis was widely commented as sign of losing his strong man image. 214-215 Putin's first deputy chief of staff Sergei Karyanko, left, is in charge of Russia's domestic politics. 216 In June 2021, Putin said he was fully vaccinated against the disease with the Sputnik V vaccine, emphasizing that while vaccinations should be voluntary, making them mandatory in some professions would slow down the spread of COVID-19. 217. In September, Putin entered self-isolation after people in his inner circle tested positive for the disease. 218. Constitutional Referendum and Amendments Main Article 2020 Russian Constitutional Referendum Putin signed an executive order on July 3, 2020 to officially insert amendments into the Russian Constitution, allowing him to run for two additional six-year terms. These amendments took effect on July 4, 2020. 219. Since 11 July, protests have been held in the Khabarovsk Krai in Russia's Far East in support of arrested regional governor Sergei Fergal. 220. The 2020 Khabarovsk Krai protests have become increasingly anti-Putin. 221-222, a July 2020 Levada poll found that 45% of surveyed Russians supported the protests. 223. On December 22, 2020, Putin signed a bill giving lifetime prosecutorial immunity to Russian ex-presidents. 224-225. 2021-2022 Russo-Ukrainian Crisis and Invasion Main Articles, Prelude to the 2022 Russian Invasion of Ukraine and 2022 Russian Invasion of Ukraine Putin holds a video call with U.S. President Joe Biden on December 7, 2021. Following the pro-Western revolution of dignity in Ukraine in 2014, Putin had had seized eastern regions of the nation and annexed Crimea. In February 2022, he launched a war to gain control of the remainder of the country and overthrow the elected government under the pretext that it was run by Nazis. The invasion of Ukraine led to worldwide condemnation of Putin, and massive sanctions on the Russian Federation. In September 2021, Ukraine had conducted military exercises with NATO forces. 226, the Kremlin warned that NATO expanding military infrastructure in Ukraine would cross red lines for Putin. 227-228, Putin's spokesman Mitri Peskov denied allegations that Russia was preparing for a possible invasion of Ukraine. 229. On 30th of November, Putin stated that an enlargement of NATO in Ukraine, especially the deployment of any long-range ballistic missiles capable of striking Russian cities or U.S. national missile defense systems similar to those in Romania and Poland, would be a red-line issue for the Kremlin. 230-231-232, Putin asked President Joe Biden for legal guarantees that NATO would not expand eastward or put weapon systems that threaten us in close vicinity to Russian territory. 233, the US and NATO have rejected Putin's demands. 234-235. Putin visited China and met with Chinese leader Xi Jinping on February 4, 2022. China had requested that Russia delay the invasion until after the completion of the Beijing Winter Olympics. 236. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan met with Putin in Moscow just hours after Russia's invasion of Ukraine began. 237. The Kremlin repeatedly denied that it had any plans to invade Ukraine. 238 239 240. Putin dismissed such fears as alarmist. 241. In December 2021, a Levada Center poll found that about 50% of Russians believed the US and NATO are to blame for the Russo Ukrainian crisis, while 16% blamed Ukraine, and 4% blamed Russia. 242 243. On February 7, 2022, retired Russian Colonel General Leonid Ivshov, 
who was active in politics as the chairman of the All-Russian Officers' Assembly, publicly called for Putin to resign over threats of a criminal invasion of Ukraine. 244-245 In February 2022, Putin warned that Ukraine's accession to NATO could embolden Ukraine to reclaim control over Russian annexed Crimea or areas ruled by pro-Russian separatists in Donbass, saying, imagine that Ukraine is a NATO member and a military operation, to regain Crimea, begins. What, are we going to fight with NATO? Has anyone thought about this? 246, on 7 February. Putin said at a joint press conference with French President Emmanuel Macron that, a, number of, Macron's, ideas, proposals, are possible as a basis for further steps. We will do everything to find compromises that suit everyone. 247, Putin promised not to carry out new military initiatives near Ukraine. 248. On 15 February, the Russian parliament's lower chamber, the State Duma, backed a resolution calling for diplomatic recognition of two self-proclaimed separatist republics in Donbass. 249, on 21 February, Putin signed a decree recognizing the separatist republics as independent states. 250, on 24 February, Putin in a televised address announced a special military operation in Ukraine. 251, launching a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. 252, he said the purpose of the operation was to protect the people in the predominantly Russian-speaking region of Donbass who, according to Putin, for eight years now, have been facing humiliation and genocide perpetrated by the Kiev regime. 253, Putin said that all responsibility for possible bloodshed will be entirely on the conscience of the regime ruling on the territory of Ukraine. 254. Putin's invasion was met with international condemnation. 255 256 257. International sanctions were widely imposed against Russia, including against Putin personally. 258 259. Following an emergency meeting of United Nations Security Council, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said, President Putin, in the name of humanity, bring your troops back to Russia. 260, U.S. President Joe Biden called the invasion unprovoked and unjustified. 261, the European Union denounced the attack and promised to hold the Kremlin accountable. 262. The invasion led to numerous calls for the prosecution of Putin as a war criminal. 11. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson suggested Putin, 